Hi, today I'm going to very quickly show you how to make a hay box oven. We make fantastic tasty soups and casseroles and it's a really useful thing to do, especially in these times when we're all trying to save energy. It cooks by using insulation, it's really easy. You can use a cardboard box to do it as well, you don't have to make it out of wood. Today I'm making one out of wood because I want something that's going to last for us, but you can easily do it with a card box as well. And I'm just going to show you how to do that now. So here's our finished uh, finished hay box. So basically it's nothing more complicated than a box and you can insulate it with whatever you've got. I've used here in the bottom, I've put an old jumper as you can see. So you could use jumpers, blankets, you can use hay, hence the name hay box. And really what you want to do is pack your insulation in really tightly. And then I'm going to, I've got some old pillowcases here. I've got an old pillow here as well that um, a mouse actually started to eat. So I'm going to take the stuffing out of that. I'm going to stuff my pillowcases and use that to pack around the top of the hay box. So that will really keep the heat in. And how it works is you cook, say you're making some soup. That's what I will use it for mostly. Bring your soup to the boil. Make sure it's boiling on your hob and then you can switch your hob off, put the pan straight into the hay box, really make sure everything's packed in so it's insulated and it's cooking from its own heat. It doesn't need any more. Take a, take a little while, it's like a slow cooker really. And, uh, and then you can just check it when your veg is cooked or your meat, if you want to, you can use it for meat as well. Um, and then uh, it just saves so much gas or electricity. So that's really good and very simple. And as I said earlier, you could just use a cardboard box. I've got a fairly robust cardboard box here and I'm going to use that to make another hay box. I can um, make a lid, I'm going to insulate it with more cardboard, pack something else around. I've got some polystyrene. You know all this polystyrene you often get if you order things at all on the internet? Then often things come with polystyrene and you can use that. It's great for insulation for your hay box. So enjoy it. I hope you make some nice soup or a casserole or something and just experiment with it. Okay, so simple. Just show you what I've done. So I've actually taken that pillow that pillowcase that I had that was a bit eaten, I decided to cut it in half and I've put half in one pillowcase, half in the other one and I've now used the half one pillowcase I've put on the bottom so the pan is resting on that. I decided that was better padding than what I had with the jumper and then this other one just packs nicely on top. So that actually works really well and uh, it's very easy and then the top just goes on like that. And what I will probably do, that top springing up a little bit, I'll probably just put a big weight on top of it when I'm cooking something, and uh, that'll work fine. Okay, lots of love, bye.